Baranu, Adamawa, and Yobe states are the worst hit by the Boko Haram insurgency. Well, more than 7 million people are in need of urgent humanitarian assistance, including 1.8 million internally displaced persons and more than 800,000 women, children and men living in unaccessible areas. Now, food, water, medicines, infrastructure, security are basic things that most, are, most of of them uh, that's affected need to survive on. Uh, this year, the United Nations and partners are appealing for $808 million for humanitarian projects in, parts, in that part of the country. All right, uh, talking about the humanitarian issues in the northeast, we have joining us right now from our Abuja studio, Abubakar Gumbe. He is the head of disaster management, Nigeria Red Cross Society. Abubakar, it's good to have you join us this morning. Can you talk to us about the issues, the humanitarian challenges in the northeast right now? There has been efforts by international organizations, foreign governments, and even the federal government of Nigeria at one point or the, or the other. How are things right now? Uh, thank you to have me in the studio. Um, things are still uh, as they were uh, in terms of uh, the IDPs because it is something to do with uh, back and forth. Meaning to say, uh, while people are liberated somewhere, another attack is in another site. So therefore, uh, it has become a protracted uh, uh, response. While uh, our efforts is geared towards uh, maybe livelihood, uh, sustenance, we find out that again, another place, uh, people are being dispersed again. So this is uh, the situation right now. You can hear from the news everywhere. Uh, always there is an attack somewhere, and then uh, whether it is repealed or uh, they have successfully carried out their attack. So therefore, uh, this is what is happening right now. OK, uh, talk to us about how uh, government agencies like uh, the military, other security agencies are assisting, assisting you in your quest to uh, reach out to people who have uh, challenges in places, especially where there is no access. What are government agencies doing to assist you in that regard? Well, um, we don't force ourselves as an auxiliary to the government uh, authorities. We don't force ourselves whereby uh, there is no access. But uh, the security uh, outfits are trying their best to see that uh, people are reached, most especially the vulnerable peoples that are trapped. So therefore, uh, when they give us the signal, we go. Uh, but uh, without their signal, we don't uh, reach there. All right, Abubakar Grumbi, Head Disaster Management, Nigeria Red Cross Society, thank you very much for talking to us right now. Bernou, Adamawa and Yobe states are the worst hit by the Boko Haram insurgency. More than 7 million people are in need of urgent humanitarian assistance, including 1.8 million internally displaced persons and more than 800 women, children and, and men living in inaccessible areas. Food, water, medicines, infrastructure, security are basic things that most of, uh, most of those affected need to survive. This year, the United Nations and partners are appealing for $808 million for humanitarian projects. Well, joining me from Abuja is the head disaster management in Nigerian Red Cross Society, Abubakar Gombe. Thank you for joining us on TVC Breakfast. 
Let's talk about the needs of uh, this displaced persons, food, water, shelter. And we have about 800,000 women, children and men. How has your organization uh, working in collaboration with the federal government been able to achieve what it has achieved so far and what are the bottlenecks you have encountered? Okay, thank you very much. Uh, we have achieved a lot uh, by housing uh, these IDPs when they come into the camp. Uh, we give them shelter, we give them uh, basic needs, and then uh, food. Uh, those that are in other camps in the uh, local governments, uh, we respond to them with the shelter, uh, food, and even the, the health care. So therefore, uh, this is what we do, uh, or what we have achieved. Uh, we have various camps, we are in various camps, and then uh, our strength lies with our volunteers that are also trapped in these communities because we have community volunteers. That's our strength. That's how we access uh, others. Only the supplies that uh, maybe sometimes becomes uh, difficult, but uh, for the accessibility, we have our volunteers in these uh, communities where uh, they are either trapped or they are liberated. Well, speaking about healthcare, there have been talks or reports on uh, some persons, especially the vulnerable when it comes to uh, the women and children not having adequate uh, uh, health care. Well, uh, yes, this is a, a general phenomenon. You find out that even without the insurgency, uh, adequate health care, uh, it is now that the federal government is uh, stepping up its uh, uh, mandate that they will uh, equally do something about the health care. Uh, what I saw in the TV. So therefore, uh, when you talk of the war or any attack somewhere, they burn down all the, uh, even the facility. So it's very difficult uh, to access the health care. This is only that we, uh, the Nigerian Red Cross Society with its movement partners, uh, we try to train our volunteers, and then the community members whenever we access them uh, on how to prevent uh, All right, other diseases. Uh, thank you, um, Head uh, Disaster Management uh, Nigerian Red Cross Society, Abubakar Gumbi, for your time on TVC Breakfast.